Mom, are you okay? What happened? Sorry, dear. I got fired. Again. It's all right, Mom. There's always more jobs to do. Enough. It's difficult to find jobs these days. I've tried my best, but it never lasts long, and I don't know why. How can I take care of you and your college when I don't have enough money? I'm such a bad mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom, please don't think like that. You aren't a bad mother. You've been trying your best, so... I'll find a part-time job so I can help you. But Ethan... It's okay, Mom. I can do this. Besides, I'm an adult now, so it's time for you to rest, Mom. Thank you, dear. I love you so much. Mom, there's no need to thank me. That's what I should do. I'll see if I can find a job tomorrow. Good night, Mom. Night-night, sweetheart. Whose number is this? Sorry for calling you this late, Miss Cora. But we have something important just to tell you. Excuse me, how do you know my name? I am the CEO of the company that just fired you. <coughs> what? You fired me then, why are you calling me? Well, Miss Cora, do you want to have money? I mean, a lot of money. E yeah, how? But you'll have to promise me that you won't tell a single soul about this? How much money do I get? Deal! <clears throat> so what's the deal? Give me your son, and I'll give you the money. But why? Why do you want to take my son? Because I want his blood. What? Vam Vampire? You should be happy that your son has the rarest blood in this world. So do we have a deal, or not? B. But he's my son. Then what about the money? P please let me think about it and call you back. Okay, your choice, ma'am. Poop, what should I do? But sir, do you think she would accept it? Hmm, we'll see tomorrow. Where are we going, Mom? To get you a job, honey. Really? Wait, how did you find... Greeting. You have come as a deal. Huh? Wait, a deal? Mom? I'm sorry, honey. What are you... Charoline? Give her the money. Wait a minute. Money? Don't tell me. You sold me to this guy? I'm sorry. Mom. Why are you doing this? Let's go home, Ethan. No, I don't even know you. Let me go. I'm not an object for sale. That'll do. From now on you will live here as a maid, but at night, you'll be my food. Huh? If you don't obey me, I will kill your mother, understand? Five, fine. Let us show you the dressing room. Twenty minutes later. OMG, he looks so cutie. I told you he looks better with the cat ears. Huh? I don't think cat ears are necessary. No, keep it like that. Boss? Show him what to do. Yes, yes boss. boss. Quack. 
Good evening, peasants. Where is my beloved fiancé? He's in his office, I think. Who is that? Lady Valentina, our boss's fiancé. She is the daughter of the second richest vampire family in the world. Our boss family is the first. So when they were born, the two families made a contract to maintain their relationship. The, the, then why did he kiss me when he already has a fiancé? Because, Zane, honey, wait for me. I told you two not to let anyone into my office while I'm working, right? We, we apologize, apologize, boss. boss. No, it was me who told her where you were not them. Oh, okay, don't let me say this again then. Got you. Pleasey, go out with me, Zane. I want to try that strawberry shortcake. <coughs> don't you see I'm busy, Valentina? If you don't drive me there, I'll tell my dad. Fine, eh. Let's go. Yay. What a spoiled brat. I agree. Phew. All done. Is it already this late? They surely having a lot of fun, huh? I wonder if he is too... Wait. What the hell am I thinking? He is only my boss. Going out with his fiance is the right thing to do, so... But what if they make love? Poop, stop it, Ethan. Welcome back, boss. Did you have fun? Shut up. Leave me alone. Y yes boss Huh? W, wait, what are you doing, boss? Put me down. So stop. Boss, what are you... Call me Zane. Ethan. Uh-huh. But, but... What's my name, Kitty? Well, well, Z Zane. It's time to do your job, Kitty. Now undressed, so I can drink your blood. N no I, I cannot let this nasty thing happen. Ugh, what does he have that I don't have? His love? <laughs> Shut up! Oh, how could a daughter of the world's second richest family lose to a poor peasant like him? I will definitely crush his life with everything I have. <laughs>